Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some problems by resetting your Windows 10 PC. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons, so please don't get it twisted. This is not an end all be all, but there's pretty much two main ways that I've seen to actually fix this specific issue. And it comes down to factory reinstalling your whole entire Windows 10 PC by reinstalling from scratch. So reinstalling the software or using some command prompt methods to actually fix these things. So the very first way, basically it goes without saying, you might actually have to go ahead and actually reinstall your Microsoft, you know, Windows 10 software straight from scratch. So there's a couple of different ways to go about doing this. I will leave, you know, a link in the description to, you know, Windows 10's ISO file that you can get down there on Microsoft's website. And this is pretty much what you have to do. You just have to download the ISO file. You're going to have to go ahead and burn it over and basically make a USB flash drive or a DVD install disk. And there's a couple of different ways to go about doing it. And again, I'll also leave, you know, Microsoft's way and methodology in the description below. And then from there, what you're going to do is basically boot your Windows 10 PC from the USB flash drive or the DVD. And then from there, you would go ahead and reinstall that software straight from the USB drive or that DVD. So it's not a super hard process. I've done this before, I think with Linux or Mac OS, I honestly don't remember. I've done it with Mac OS a couple times and trust me, if I can do it, pretty much anyone else can do it. You may run into some other problems in this case too, but typically it's a smooth sailing ship. You'll pretty much get it done for in no time. So that's pretty much the main way to fix it is just to reinstall that software from scratch. Now, if that doesn't work, there is another, there's actually a couple different methods that you can do of actually going through your command prompt in doing it. And I found this specific way through Reddit and it seems to be the best way that people are saying it. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings app within Windows 10. You want to click update and security. You want to click recovery. You want to click advanced startup. And then you want to click restart now. Now a little window is going to come up and in that window you want to click troubleshoot. Then you want to click advanced options. Then you want to click command prompt. Now in there, you want to select the specific administrator account, okay? And then you want to provide the, you know, credentials for the admin account. So if you don't have an admin account or if you don't have those specific, you know, credentials, you're going to have to obviously get that specific information and the command prompt will pretty much just open up. And from there, you want to type in these specific commands and then you want to press the enter key right after, okay? And I'll post them on the screen right now. Basically, it's CD Winder. I'm just going to post it on the screen and you want to click enter after each and every line. So you want to go ahead and click enter after the first line then the second line then the third line and then what you're going to do is go ahead and close the command prompt window and it's going to take you back into the windows recovery environment screen you want to go ahead and select the continue option and you want to get back into the operating system then you want to reboot your pc and then there's going to say there was a problem resetting your PC issue. And then once you go ahead and restart your PC, you'll see that that specific issue is now gone. Now there's always a chance that this may not work. And you know, from what I've seen, this seems to be probably the best way to go about fixing it. But I'll go ahead and leave these links down in the description to the Reddit post and everything as well. So those are really the main ways to go about fixing it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discount. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.